Hello and salut everybody. So welcome back um, to part two of my New Year resolution. Um, so my second um, New Year resolution um, struggle that I want to help you with um, that you guys say that you felt short on last year, 2023. We're in 2024 now. I have to get used to that. So um, the the second struggle that you guys struggle with last year and you want to do better on this year. And those of you who I, I encourage you, if, even if you have your own New Year resolution, I would suggest that, you know, you can try these as well. Um, so the second one is limit use of social media. So a lot of you say that it was difficult. You wanted, that was a New Year resolution. You wanted to stay of social media, especially some of you are listening to my videos, how I was telling you to avoid the negative when social media is getting negative in your life. If it's making your life, if it's turning you into something you are not, somebody you are not, you know, you know, take a break. So you, you tried and you didn't quite make it. And that is your struggle. So you struggle staying off social media. And a lot of you also say that you are not, it, it didn't do good in your life. So you are blaming social media for certain things in your life uh, because of certain things that you are following and your family actually blaming you. Uh, so you have to accept that as your fault. You have to uh, come clean, right? So to is to reduce. Uh, the use of social media. So I I know I am talking to you right now on YouTube. This is social media. And I'm the one who said that you need to limit the use of social media because if you're watching something, if you're following somebody on social media and that person makes you hate yourself, hate your children, hate your marriage, hate your lifestyle, hate your job, hate who you are, that that person or that message is making you become somebody you don't recognize. It's making you neglect your marriage, your relationship, your spouse, your children. It is making you do things that are not helping you, making, adding to your life positively. I say, stay away from it. Even I, if I'm telling you something and you just, after you watch this, you hate you. Well, if you hate yourself or dislike yourself or you want to do better, that's different. If I say something and you see yourself in it, you're like, oh my God, she's speaking right through me. Just like you hear in church, right? When we, you know, pastor is talking, you thinking that he's talking to you. If that, I'm not talking about that. That is a good thing. So if I'm saying something, you like, you see yourself in it. And you're like, oh my God, I am neglecting my child. I am neglecting my wife. I am neglecting my husband. I am, I am missing doing this. That is not what I'm talking about. That is a good thing because it's making you think so that you can change. You can be a better person. But if you're watching these shows and you're following these celebrities and you're listening to this so-called, uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to say it. And you are complaining uh, to you. You are complaining. You are comparing that person. You are comparing your husband or wife to that person. And you are comparing your children to that person. You're comparing your job to that, that, that person's job or situation. And you want to become, you are spending more money to look like that person. Money that you don't have. You will find yourself lying to your spouse, lying to your children, neglecting your children for those stuff. When you start feeling that, that is, that is time for you to get away from that. It's time for you to get away from this person that you are following because that person is not doing anything good in your life. It's not helping you be a better person. It is not helping you be better. So when you see that, when you started noticing that, especially when your children point that out to you, listen, when your spouse, spouse point that out to you, points that out to you, listen. When you find yourself on a dinner table on your phone, checking to see what did they have for dinner, that's a problem. 
Well, you are on vacation and while you're on the beach with your family, you are following these people trying to find out what they are up to when your family are there, you are neglecting them. That's a problem. When you find yourself want to spend, you know, $5,000 on a jacket because they are wearing it and you don't have that money, you're putting it on your credit card, hiding it from your husband, hiding it from your wife, that's a problem. When you find yourself judging others, hating others, because they are hating others and judging others, that is a problem. So all I'm saying is, yes, social media is social media. I get it. But social media, it is not good. Not, not everything on social media is good. Social media, it is not as good as we think. So we have to be smart enough to avoid certain things on social media. And we have to set by examples to our children. So that means when you are seeing all of this that I'm talking about, you need to stop. You need to step back. You need to unsubscribe. You need to stay away from them. You need to pull back and think about your life. So social media, I am telling you, it feel like there's nothing so social about it. Really, honestly. The children, the young children told me last time, it's it, it, it really not social. It is not social. The name social, but it's not social because you really, they don't see themselves in it. It's just phony. A lot of phony. A lot of good things, I know. A lot of us learning a thing. Again, I'm just talking to you about this on social media, right? But a lot of phony. A lot of things, messages that are leading our children, leading you astray, making you become somebody you are not, making you worse than you are. So my suggestion and the help for those of you who have not been able to, 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 <laughs> to, to, to accomplish what your goal was last year to stay away and, and, and limit the use of social media, look on your phone, look on Facebook and Instagram, YouTube, look at the things, the followers, the people that you are following, go through them and see those who are actually actually helping you become a better person. Those are the messages that when you hear it, you want to be a better person. It lifts you up. You want to do better. You want to be a better mother. You want to be a better, a better father, a better, a better <laughs> child, a better sibling, a better, you want to do better. You want to, you know, better yourself at, at your job, your education. Think about that. But if you go through them and you see some of them always making you want to feel shitty about yourself, always want to make you compare yourself to other people, always making you want to hate yourself, hate your spouse, making you angry, making you want to judge others, making you want to hate others. All of you need to take them out, remove and stop and follow them and follow all of them and unsubscribe. It's okay to unsubscribe. It's okay to remove yourself because if you don't unsubscribe and you're listening to them, even though you're telling yourself you don't believe, you don't agree with what they're saying because they continue to say it, you're going to bound, it's bound to turn you into that person, turn you into them. So the best thing is to avoid it completely. So my suggestion to you in order for you to do that, listen to your family. When they are telling you that you are on your phone, put your phone down, you are always on your phone, listen to them when they are saying things like that. And when you find yourself in the midst of when your children are talking to you on your phone, and when you are on vacation, you are on your phone, when you're supposed to be paying attention, you are on your phone, you let food burn because you are on your phone, you let things happen, you forgot to close the door, close your, your, uh, your, your car door because of your phone, you forgot your wallet because of your phone. When you are seeing things like that, it is time. That is something telling you, ding, 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 ding. It is time for you to limit. And when you are subscribed, it's okay to unsubscribe, unsubscribe to things that are not helping you. Unsubscribe, get away from them. So that's the best way for us to do this. 
So that is my suggestion to you because everything on social media, it is not good for us. So we have to limit, especially nowadays with everything going on, we have to limit it and we have to set example to our children as well so that they can learn because you heard me saying how they were complaining about all of that. So set examples. So that's my suggestion for you to stay away and be able to accomplish this goal that you set for yourself. You didn't make it in 2023. I am helping you make it this year, 2024. So if you have any other suggestions, you have any other uh, comments, please let me know. Let us continue with the conversation. I want to try not to make this as long as the last one. Um, but this is this we can't just stop here. There's so much to this that we can discuss. So I want to continue with the conversation and I need your help. So subscribe. If you have not subscribed, share this video with everyone that you know. Even watch it with your children. Stay safe and blessed and I'll see you on the next one.